He hugged him and congratulated him on the astounding and refined performance that he has rendered in this film. Coming from a legend who gave the world the eight Oscar winner Gandhi, this is quite a compliment. Bachchan himself was very humbled and graciously accepted this compliment. After having pleased the land of the bard, as Bachchan arrives home with a bag full of lavish praises, we can't wait to get floored ourselves. We all waiting anxiously for the last layer. मेरी बड़ी सुन जरा चलो करें कुछ मजा थोड़ी शरारत कुछ शैतानी काम कोई गड़बड़ का मेरी बड़ी सुन जरा चलो करें कुछ मजा थोड़ी शरारत गड़बड़ का एक नो बारी दस पैरा नो 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 एक नो बारी दस पैरा Nobody does it better. No, 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 no. Ain't nobody does it better. Deeper, 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 deeper. A cult song of Hindi films that unleashed its charm years back when the entire look of the Hindi films all dull when compared to today's standards and tattooed a true Indian diva forever in the consciousness of Indians in resurrecting. The song Ek Do Teen from the super hit movie Tezab which took the whole nation dancing every time it came to life is going to be reused in the film called A Love Story. The new version will be created by none other than the Cap Crooner, that's what I call him, the Cap Crooner Himesh Reshamir. The movie which will go on flows on September 18th has Himesh as the hero once again and Neharika Singh as the leading lady. John Matthew Martin, who directed Sarfarosh, is calling the shots of a love story. Showman Subhash Gai may be busy giving finishing touches to his magnum opus Yuraj, but he is also contemplating his next project. If the buzz is to be believed, Gai's next directorial venture will have the living legend Dilip Kumar making his comeback after 10 long years. It may be noted that Dilip Saab and Subhash Gai last worked together in their smash hit Sodagar. Since then, the veteran actor has acted in one film that's Umesh Mehra's Killer, which was released in 1998. So what is this film all about and how did he manage to convince Dilip Kumar to return to acting after a decade? Well, uh, Subhashkai said that the film will be a light entertainer and Dilip Saab will be playing the main lead. They are also in the process of finalizing other cast members. As for convincing Dilip Saab, all he can say is that they have shared a great comfort level after working he trusts him and believes in his directorial abilities. Well, he was clear that he would do the film only if Subhash Gai is directing it. Well, there's more news on Subhash Gai. Subhash Gai and Salman Khan seem to have bonded really well during the making of Yuraj. No wonder that the veteran director is planning to cast Salman in yet another film after Yuraj. What's more, giving Salman Khan company once again will be none other than the lady love, 
Katrina Kaif in this follow-on entertainer. Vibash and Dilip Saab, all the best. <laughs> what an idiot. God, what is he doing, God? Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Such a stupid basket. Well, Vishal Bharadwaj's Kamine has a daring Shahid Kapoor. The character that he plays in the film is rough and tough. To put across the story's rawness, there are scenes that involve a lot of action and because of that, Shahid has suffered a maximum number of injuries while shooting for this film. First, he hurt his wrist and he had to be rushed to a physio. In another scene that involves kidding, Shahid got badly bruised. He has just been getting one injury after the another. In this so far, almost five to six times. Well, Kamine will show Shahid doing all that people thought an actor of a soft image like Shahid Kapoor could not do. No wonder Shahid is having a rocking time. Well, Kamine is a typical Vishal Bharadwaj brand of cinema. The characters are devoid of any glamour. Even the locations are rustic and hard-hitting. Keeping the entire mood of the story in mind, Shahid has the look of a guy who is absolutely raw, hard and tough. Well, this is the first time that Shahid is playing this kind of a character. It is in complete contrast to the image that like Viva, Jab We Met and Kismat Connection. The image of a good boy. Well, September 9th marked the birthday of the man, the deadliest dude, who was born to a middle-class Punjabi family in Amritsar. He lived with his parents in the famous locality of Chandni Chowk in Delhi. Post that, 
he shifted his base to Amchi, Mumbai, a place that paved his way to not just stardom, but superstardom. He is a living example of a phrase that there is no substitute to harden to make it really big in Bollywood. He is none other than Rajiv Bhatia, also known as Khiladi Kumar, Akshay Kumar. He started off as